guys, I just wanted to take a second and just show you actually, I usually do this in class, but since you're not there, I can bring it to you. I wanted to show you how an incline plane makes a screw. So to do this, what I did is I took a piece of paper, this is just a piece of copy paper that I had at home, and then I ended up cutting a triangle. Now the best way I can tell you to cut a triangle is to start at a corner and to kind of cut just diagonal to get a triangle. So if I did this and I started, and I just ended up cutting, if you notice, a straight line. Now it's not, you don't need a big triangle. If you notice, I just did a little triangle that looked like this. What does this look like? A ramp or an inclined plane. This is your inclined plane. And to make it so you can see exactly what's going to happen, this ramp part right here, I want you to color the edge red. I'll show you. I did it on this one, one already done. So this was my ramp and I ended up taking and coloring this part red just with a marker. I just colored the edge on both sides red. Now, what is a screw? It is a inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder or rod, and this is going to be my cylinder or rod, it's a pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna turn it so you can see. I actually take my inclined plane and start rolling my pencil down in a straight line. And I start rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And when I'm done, if you hold it up, you can see where it's a screw. All of the edge has become what the threads are in a screw. Now remember, as you turn a screw into things to attach stuff together. These threads are what hold things together when you use one. So then I can take it apart, of course, and then I can see that my incline plane wrapped around a um, cylinder or a rod makes a screw. So if you wanna try this at home, you can. It's kind of fun to be able to see it. You can actually see where those threads are. Yeah. Hope this helps and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.